Hello everyone, this is Asher Dupre, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the auto key cipher. Um, before I start the video, I would like to say um, I'm sorry for uploading the Visioneer cipher video. With its In its current state, it is completely wrong. Do not try to follow the instructions put in my original Visioneer cipher video, although I will be deleting that video and uploading a new version of it. So if you get confused why ep episode 3 was uploaded after episode 5, it's because I messed up in episode 3 and made it basically impossible to understand. So I am deeply, I'm deeply sorry for that, and we will continue on with the auto key cipher. Um, the auto key cipher was recommended to me to discuss by Kevin Leong in the comments. I'm sorry if I... Um, mispronounced your last name, but the full, fully functioning version was invented by Blaze Day Visioneer, which is the same person that invented the Visioneer cipher, and that is why I was apologizing for messing up that one, because it might be a little bit confusing in this one if you don't understand the Visioneer cipher. So please get an understanding of the Visioneer cipher, and um, I will be teaching the basics of the Visioneer cipher in this video so that you can at least encrypt and decrypt it. So to encrypt we will be using the key which is going to be equal to key and we'll be using the text this is an example so we write out the text with the key below it once you've written the key out fully start writing the plain text message as the key. So if that sentence didn't make sense basically we write this is an example which is our text that we would like to um, send to someone. And then we write, for the key, we write key, this is an exam. And we don't write the rest of the poll because it's, um, it's unneeded, because like there's no other text to encrypt with it. So we just write it as long as we have message. So if you wanted an equation for that, it'd basically be Whatever the length of your key is, then you subtract that many letters off the end of the message that you're adding to it. So your key for this is actually key, this is an exam. But all you have to tell the other person that's receiving the message is key equals key. All you have to tell them is the key is key. You don't actually have to tell them the actual key is key, this is an exam. They just have to know that it's a auto key cipher. So now we just use the Visioneer cipher. So here's the uh, Visioneer table. And uh, we take this as an example and key, this is an exam. And we write th our text is DLGLPASVWXNQMLQ. And the way that we got that was we took T from this is an example. That's the first letter in this is an example. I tapped on T. Sorry. And then um, you go down to K in the row and T in the column. And where those meet is at D. So that's D. And then we'd write L and then G and then L and then P and then A and then S. So this is a very secure system. The Visioneer table itself is is a very secure system when you're just talking about people cracking it. Now when it comes to computers, none of this is really secure and you're going to have to get into private public key encryption, which I probably won't even discuss during the entirety of this course because most of these are just historical ciphers that have been used um, in ways for just communicating messages between people. I kind of like those better. I like, I don't really like dealing with these super complex algorithms and stuff. I like pretending like I can make ciphers that are actually hard to solve just by people. I don't really care about computers because any message that I'm sending with a cipher isn't, no one's going to try to crack it with some massive computer or even just a Wii computer. No one's going to write a program or find a program to crack it in my experience. So I just like being able to send messages and ciphers, and that is why I have taken up the interest in learning about them. Anyways, now we have our cipher text using the Visioneer table. So now we can go to decrypt. To decrypt in the 
thing. I said, watch the Visioneer tutorial for decryption, but then I went back and watched my Visioneer thing and realized that I never explained decryption in it, so I'm going to be teaching that really quick. So basically, you'd want to take from your key the letter K and then take the first letter of the cipher, um, let's see, the, the, of the cipher text, which is D. So we'd go to K and we'd go to D. I mean, sorry, we'd go to K and then we'd go to line K and follow it until it reaches to D. And then we'd see what line that's in. And in this case, it's in T. So if you follow the line K all the way down until it hits D, that lines up with T on the side column, if that makes sense. I'll, be ex I'll explain that better in the vision your tutorial. So then, if we go to back to decrypt, we decrypt the first three letters with key, because that's what we know. We know K-E-Y. So we use K, we go to K, and then we go to D, and then we, then we decrypt the letter T. And then we go to E, because that's the next letter in our key, in key, key, like, and then we go to E. We'd go down till it reaches L, and then that is at H. So now we have decrypted T-H. So now we go to Y, and then we go down until we reach G, and then we see what that's in, which is I. So now we have T-H-I. So, so we've almost got the word this. So now all we have to do is use that T-H-I as the next key. So now we use T. So we go to T, and then we go down to L again because our ciphertext is D-L-G-L. So now we're on the G-L part, or just the L after G. So now we need to go down to L in the T line, and that gives us S. So now I've decrypted this. So as you can see, you can just keep going through that. Once you've decrypted the next three letters, you have the next three letters for your key, and then you can just decrypt all the way through. It's, very, it's a very cool system because the key is actually different every time. Um, I believe this makes it harder to crack than the Visioneer, but not terribly much harder to crack if they know that it was encoded using auto key and not Visioneer. If they think it's encoded in Visioneer, then this would make it significantly harder to crack because it's not the repeating pattern of key, 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 which is what it would look like in Visioneer. So, we can now scroll to the end. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, wait, did I miss it? Oh my goodness. So for this entire thing, I've been saying the Visioneer was episode 3. It was actually episode 2, I am sorry. But... Like, comment, share, subscribe. Introduction to Cypher was episode one. Visioneer was episode two, which I'll be fixing. Transposition was episode three, and I was unable to get the thumbnail for episode four, but that was columnar transposition. There's a playlist that you, sh you should that you can watch, and please like, comment, more suggestions, and big thanks to Kevin Leong for recommending that, and also big thanks to Kevin Leong for sending me a his document that contained a bunch of different ciphers that he knew of, knew of, which I will probably be, with his permission, be covering in future episodes. Thank you, Kevin. Make sure to share and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.